Welcome to this video. If you clicked on this, you probably want to see what the Travis Scott Air Trainers look like on feet and with outfits. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. I have both the Chocolate and Grey Haze Air Trainers to show you guys. With the Light Chocolate Trainers, I only have Unshrouded on feet because I feel like that colorway just looks better unshrouded. Both the Grey Haze, I have both shrouded and unshrouded with each and every fit. And honestly, I think both of these colorways are severely underrated. So with that out of the way, let's get into some fits. Starting off with the first fit here, we're going with a very tonal outfit, just matching the colorway on the sneakers in tonal grays and tonal off-whites. An accessory here, we have an RVCA waist bag slung around the shoulder just to go with the technical details of a very technically complex sneaker when they are unshrouded. And the technical details on the sneaker come in the strap, the logo of Cactus Corporation across the strap, the buttons for where the shroud attaches, the zipper on the back, and of course, can't forget the reverse swoosh on the medial side of this sneaker as well. And overall, just very tonal, off-white pants go with the cream corduroy on the sneakers, and the really clean gray Uniqlo Essentials hoodie just goes really well with that bluish gray of the gray haze colorway of the Air Trainer 1 Travis collab. Yeah, to me, this is just a very easy, everyday Essentials fit and just a very clean look to go with this colorway and this collaboration. If you wanted to go shrouded as well, I think the shrouded look with the sneakers and the Grey Haze colorway just makes it look very, very clean. The sneakers just look very crisp on feet, and I think it still works well, especially if you want to be a little more low-key with your sneakers and just keep it as a if-you-know-you-know you know outfit overall. But with the shroud overall, I think the shroud actually goes really nicely with the Grey Haze colorway. I think it just makes it look very smooth and very clean, and I think the bluish-gray color on the shroud and the sneakers overall just adds a really pretty hue to any outfit that you're wearing. If you pair it with similar colors like I'm doing here, I think it just looks super smooth and super clean overall. And moving right along here, we have a workwear inspired fit. We have a large, oversized Oaken Fort denim jacket up top. We have some Dickies double knees at the bottom in black. And with the shrouded look here, I think just very, very clean. I think the industrial vibe of the shroud and the buttons where the shroud kind of attaches to the sneakers, along with the zipper on the back, just make for a big statement piece at the bottom, even though it's a very clear, smooth sneaker that you can see. I think the workwear look of the pieces of the upper and the industrial vibes of the details of the sneakers just work really nicely together. And again, that gray haze color, oh man, it's really, really pretty. And with black double knees, I think it just is a really nice pop at the bottom of this fit. And with a gray tee poking out from under the denim jacket, I think it's just a nice complementary color of gray on the shirt and gray haze on the sneakers. And just a quick look here, unshrouded, I think adds a little bit more technical detail. The sneakers are actually less of a statement piece without the shroud in this case, because I think without the shroud, the sneakers look a little bit normal, and that kind of takes a little bit of attention away. And even though I think without the shroud, it's less of a statement piece, the cream corduroy on the mid panel on the strap of this collaboration just adds for, again, a very nice detail at the bottom of the sneakers when they're unshrouded. And of course, with the reverse swoosh peeping out on the medial side, it's just a nice detail to show off that, hey, this is still a Travis collab, even though it's pretty unhyped, and this is still a very unique and very cool pair of sneakers. And next up, going with a very essentials, very, very neutral fit that you can literally wear almost every sneaker with, we have an oversized Uniqlo graphic tee up top, beautiful black details all across the chest, down the torso, and black sweatshirt from Gap, just an essential that every guy should have in their wardrobe. With the socks here, again, one of my favorite socks, Pro Mountain Quarter Socks in gray from Amazon. And with the shrouded look here, I think it's just a very clean sneaker at the bottom. With the shroud on, I think it causes you to focus on the overall silhouette and the shape of the sneakers. And I think that Air Trainer 1 just has a very nice shape. It's a little bulky, but still seems kind of sleek because of the shroud. And overall, I think just adheres to kind of your natural foot and ankle shape because of the cut of the sneakers overall. And to me, it just looks like a very natural part of your body and they actually look comfortable on feet, if that makes any sense at all. But with that, removing the shrouds here, now they definitely look like a more athletic sneaker. But with that missing swoosh on the middle side, it's super cool. I think it still looks very clean and you can definitely see the different shapes and the details and the cuts of the sneaker on this collaborative pair. And overall, with the quarter socks, I think it just adds enough of that athletic vibe to go with the athletic trainer model that the Nike Air Trainer 1 is. And again, man, the gray haze is just such a nice color. Off-white corduroy, man. 
great details on this pair of sneakers and just honestly still a very neutral but very interesting sneaker that you can rock with a lot of things and with an essential fit like this overall just very easy to toss on and be comfortable throughout the day and with this fit since it's so essential it's a very good transition point to also toss on the light chocolate colorway and with these on feet, definitely a more toned down look, but man, the light chocolate pair is so beautiful and definitely gives you just more of that rugged hiker aesthetic slash industrial vibe. And man, I just think these sneakers are great value for their resale prices right now. So if you weren't lucky enough to hit on a raffle or anything like that, highly recommend picking up these pairs because the colorways on both models are great. They are definitely still a very unique collaborative sneaker that I don't think will be replicated in any of the upcoming releases this year. And of course, they're also super comfortable. So with the brown pair, that back black panel definitely stands out and the Cactus Corporation is just a very nice detail on an otherwise very tonal brown sneaker. And the hints of pink, just very nice details, just a little pop of color. And I think the Air Trainer 1 as a model definitely looks great with both shorts and pants. And swapping to some denim here, these are some Uniqlo slim fitting salvage denim in a nice dark indigo wash. Up top, we have a nice black washed hoodie from Rue Porter and a nice casual oversized fit. And overall, I think just one of the essential fits that you can probably wear with any sneaker. But throwing the brown Travis Scott's on here, the wash black of the hoodie gives kind of almost a workwear vibe. Denim is half workwear, half casual streetwear. And I think with them cuffed up here and some tan crew socks, the sneakers are allowed to be that statement piece and just give your overall fit a very industrial, outdoorsy, very rugged vibe again. And continuing kind of that same vibe, again, we have those black double knees from Dickies here and throwing on my favorite tan workwear jacket from Deus Ex. So overall, just workwear vibes, and I think the workwear vibes play nicely with all the details on the sneakers. Again, in the buttons where the shroud attaches, the midfoot strap, the cactus corp on the back of the sneaker, and the reverse swoosh on the medial side. And I love the back of this fit because you have Cactus Corporation poking out from the back of the sneakers, and just nice embroidery detail on this tan workwear jacket that I have from Deus Ex. So both details on the back just give you multiple points of interest with the jacket and the sneakers. And again, where the shroud attaches to those buttons on the sneakers, they kind of match the different buckles and different buttons of the jacket and the workwear pants as well. So just all the details of the different pieces come together and they give a very nice cohesive workwear vibe in my opinion. And last but not least, I resisted this trend for the longest time, but we have some Summit Smith cargo pants from Nike. These are very expensive pants, but I think they're definitely worth it because they can give you that hiker slash workwear almost vibe in the dark knee panels and the removable legs to convert these into shorts. And just the cargo pockets just play into that nice extra detail on the pants that go along with the extra details on this collaborative sneaker. The different cuts where the light brown joins the dark brown on the midfoot of the sneaker definitely adds more detail to the Air Trainer 1 model that goes along with very technical pieces that you can add on into your fit. In this case, the different panels and pockets on the Summit Smith cargo pants. And up top, we just have a thrifted graphic tee in this case with a very loud graphic and colors. I think just adds a nice splash and refreshing point of interest at the top. But with this fit, it seems like something's missing, but add on that RVCA shoulder bag and now you have a nice technical focus up top as well. And yeah, I think just very easy to pair this sneaker with, of course, other shades of olive, brown, gray, and black, and all these dark tones will go together very easily. The light chocolate colorway, just a very easy sneaker to wear. And again, I think just one of the most underrated collaborative colorways and sneaker models. They're just so easy to throw on and they go with so many different technical pieces. And last but not least, Converting the Summit Smith cargo pants into shorts, you can definitely see how versatile this sneaker is, and of course, how versatile the Summit Smith cargo series from Nike is as well. So taking off the legs here and stashing them in the thigh pockets of the cargo pants, toss on a different tee here in a wash black slash bleached wash, and overall, still just a very clean fit. I think with a waist bag and a wash tee in this case, it goes very well together, and you can't really go wrong with any sort of brown or hiker shorts, or anything in that tech wear realm of styling. And I think this is just a great sneaker to beat up because they're built so ruggedly in the rubberized panels of the toe box of the sneakers and the rear that I think the more you wear the sneaker, the better they'll kind of look. They'll look better with a little bit of dirt on them, a little bit of dust. I think any scratches or scuffs will just continue to add character to this colorway and this model of the Air Trainer ones. And I think that is a really big reason why people are overlooking the sneaker and underrating it so much on the resale market. But that about does it. 
I hope you enjoyed these fits with both colorways of the Air Trainer 1 in collaboration with Travis Scott. And hey, if this is helpful, like and a sub go a long way. And follow me on Instagram at the underscore J's underscore studio. So thanks so much for tuning in. And before you go, another sneaker that is super underrated in a super clean colorway that everyone is sleeping on right now, the Jordan 6 Midnight Navy. So if that sounds interesting, check out some fits here. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.